Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building the city of Verde Beach. And in today's episode, we are going to focus on leveling up our new uh, technical college and building some haunted high schools, which that was a comment that was left in the last video. I thought that was hilarious. We're going to absolutely do that today because we emptied our cemeteries and now we're in a position where we can do something with that land. Uh, but before we get to all of that, I one of the questions I asked in the last video was what we wanted to name this college. And I got the absolute best naming uh, suggestion that I've, I've gotten a long time. <laughs> so big shout out to Frag Proof who said that Verde Beach Pyrotechnic should be the name of this school. This school. So I love that. Let's do that now. There we go. And uh, so with that, we're gonna wanna look at our street naming. We'll get that on right now. And rather than trade school way, this will be pyrotechnic way. Okay, the other suggestion that we had that was a good one was naming this entire island. And I really like that idea. This is not really Verde Beach uh, proper. This is a new place and we're going to we're going to dive into that in the next couple episodes, but right now what I want to dive into is you know, just naming this entire island. I would imagine that this portion of the island is really heavily influenced by Verde Beach, but there will be a portion of this island that's developed by someone who wants to take advantage of the proximity to Verde Beach, but the lack of regulation makes the island and a particularly attractive place to do business. <laughs> so we will uh, we will certainly explore that at a later date. Okay, so this is obviously not Lilac Hills, but what we're gonna name this is Palma de Fuego. And we, this is one gigantic neighborhood right now. It will change over time, but I do wanna take a look at this uh, area and see how it should be different than Verde Beach. Um, so to start, I think that just looking at this, we are going to add a ferry stop at some point. Maybe we'll think about that. This is going to be really a tourism based place. So I think that having public Wi-Fi, parks boost, um, maybe even for-profit education for the university. Actually, I, I, I can't stand that. <laughs> we're, we're not going to do that. Um, why don't we let go of leisure for any of our leisure districts over here? Beyond that, I think that we can we can just let this let this be. Uh, so that's kind of our, our starting point over here. Um, so let's take a look at our university and see what we need to get to the next level. So was right after the end of the, of the last episode, I realized I was a total knucklehead and didn't uh, didn't actually start any grants up. So I did start one up before the start of the episode to get us to get us going, because that's one of the things that's going to prevent us from leveling up in our in our university. The other thing is, as going through the buildings, you know, we have the admin building, we have a study hall, we have a book club, and we have some dorms. What are we missing? <laughs> We're missing a place to actually study, <laughs> like things to actually study. And that's because one of the buildings that you can unlock the police academy or that does unlock is at the end. It, it bugs me that that happens, but it does. And as a result, I did not use it. So one of the things we need to figure out is where we're gonna put these, because these are huge buildings. I think that what I wanna do is kind of terrace these a bit. So you can already see the terraces up here and we're going to need to fit these in where they're, where they're going to fit appropriately. So I think we're going to put this up here. But what I want to do before I do that is flatten this area out and then we'll use our slope terrain tool to make that slope make some sense. Okay, so I spun this building around so that it fronts the same way as the other buildings. So I don't have uh, you know, key anarchy, so I can't do anything here with the keys to make them work a little bit better. But what I can do is try to make this as 
as nice as possible by moving it, spending all sorts of money <laughs> to, to move this. And uh, we'll just have to deal. <laughs> so now I'm going to use my slope tool to try to improve this. So we can at least get a path up here. Ideally, I think we'd get a road up here. That's what it's looking for. Uh... <laughs> so this is what it really wants up here. And maybe for fire prevention purposes, we will just do this. Uh, but I'm not going to leave it like this. We've got to clean this up. This is This is a little bit too much for me. Ah, we're out of we're out of soil, which is always a problem. Um, so we're gonna need to do some work and really be careful with our landscaping in this area. So I might actually steal some soil here so that I can pull this out so I can feather it down. And this isn't going to be perfect. I think we all know that, but it can be better than terrible. <laughs> so that's that's my goal right now is better than terrible. So the bar is low. The bar is set very, very low. <laughs> so there's a weird bump out here that I really don't want to happen. I think the reason why it's occurring is this dorm right here. Part of me thinks, you know, if I added one more dorm, which <laughs> is totally unnecessary, it might hide some of that, and it does. <laughs> so I know that that dorm is not needed, but we're gonna go with it, and uh, it'll be completely fine. It'll be completely fine. Let's get some water up to this part of campus. There we go. So now we have our police academy, it says it doesn't have enough water, but it does. We know that right now they're just chirping over a whole lot of nothing. Uh, what we do need in this area, we can't leave it like this. This is a little bit too too much for even us. What we need here is some landscaping. So let's get this going. So I want to start out and try to try to hide some of this this cliff ugliness. Now I know that people have told me to get over my cliff issues. Let me get to the, 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 the so the, this is really all about the LUD. I don't mind cliffs. I don't like when they look like this. <laughs> so I think that this is just a really sorry looking LUD. <laughs> and it's the vanilla one. It is what it is. But the cliff texture is just terrible. Okay, so I feel a little better about that. What we need to do is also have some landscaping in here. This place is really gonna... There's gonna be some danger. We're gonna, we need a fire watchtower up in here for sure, because I am uh, certainly messing with Myrtle. And we know how kindly she takes to that. So, let's think about that. We'll be up front. I think, actually, we might already have one. So one of the things about having two series going on concurrently and then throwing in some other things here and there and just, you know, other life things going on is I will, you know, I don't record these in batches generally. Sometimes I do, um, but I'm, I'm coming back a week later, you know, five days later, and I need to refresh my memory. And I do go through and take a look at the build beforehand. Sometimes I will build what I'm going to build up front, give it a shot, give it some practice, and then, um, you know, record afterwards. Um, sometimes, even with that, I'll forget. <laughs> so bear with me. If, if you're watching and you're, you're binging this and you're like, what is this guy doing? He just did this. Well, this is, this is what it is. So this is super tropical now. I wanted this to feel like there's a whole bunch of runoff coming here. And as a result, it's super lush and everything wants to grow right there. Ideal place to have a forestry industry, but instead we're gonna have a police academy. <laughs> so uh, one of the things land, from a land use standpoint that I think I kind of whiffed on was I put these office buildings here. I, you know, I, I don't like the way these look, although this is kind of funny, the law accounting. Kind of feel like 
we'll make that one historical. Uh, one of the things I don't love is these buildings are getting a lot taller than I was hoping along the side. So I might make a few of these historical and then change the zoning here and do something that I think some of you might appreciate. So we're gonna go through it. We'll make these historical. Oh, and I got rid of that one. So we won't make that one historical. In fact, we'll just dezone those. What, I'll, what I'm gonna do is create another small district. So just so that district's a little easier to work with, I expanded it. Make that pyrotechnic heights. And what I the reason I want to do that is I want to be able to apply district policies here. Specifically, I want to make sure that we have the ability to make this a tourism district. So that if you you know you if you were going to school here, you'd have the option to to really intern at a hotel on campus if that's what you wanted to do. So to me, that's a really important thing. So that's what we're gonna do. The other thing is we're gonna wanna look elsewhere in this area. This being a college campus, there would absolutely be a leisure type district. So we are going to build one of those as well. We'll make that Fuego Hill. So we've got a, a little bit of a handle on what's going on here. I disconnected the power and that's why I wanted to turn that off quickly. Um, and then this district, let's apply that policy let go of leisure so this will develop right away and this will make this a true destination so i don't love again the height of these buildings i might play a little bit of whack-a-mole and it won't well, let me it won't let me play whack-a-mole <laughs> it's not really developing these all that quickly except for these this tall one i guess we can we can deal with the uh tyrell hotels side by side <laughs> and we've leveled up the university at this point uh or the the tech school verde beach pyrotechnic to level two so what we need now are more academic works obviously we're going to research hospitality the attractiveness of the campus not so good we need to improve that and we should really take a look at what else we've unlocked slow this down for a minute so now we have a gymnasium a cafeteria a fountain and that's it <laughs> but those are good things to add we also yeah it's big outdoor outdoor study we should incorporate that somewhere so i know that we took some inspiration from overcharged ag this area in front of the school that is probably where i would have otherwise put this trade school fountain but that's okay we can figure out another good place for this and truthfully we might, we have a deficit in our soil availability. I might take this down here. We need some soil. Okay, so that's much different. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's better, because I don't know that it is, but we can actually do something with this now. So let's go back in and take a look. Our gymnasium would easily fit here, as would our cafeteria. Our outdoor study hall, again, just fine here. Our main issue is that they're not going to like that uh, when I built this, there was no there was no way to get zoning there. So you see that right now. So the one thing that I'll have to do is upgrade these and then downgrade them. And that will allow me to, uh, to have zoning here and then place some of these buildings. There we go. And you see that there's zoning, so it'll be easier to place these now. So there's our outdoor study hall. I do want to flank this with some trails. Now I really wanted to get this straight, but it's not going to let me. Not in any easy way anyway. So we're going to have to kind of eyeball it and hope for the best. And truthfully, that's not so bad. There's some lumpies and some bumpies, but it's, it's far from the worst that I've ever seen. So we're going to accept it and move on. So this is going to be a ways away from anything else, but we're going to go with it. And what we might put over here is the cafeteria, make this a place where people could hang out, do some studying. 
and uh, grab a bite to eat. Now it's a bit removed, so this is a hike. Uh, truthfully, knowing that it's a hike, it might make more sense to try to incorporate this somewhere closer on the campus. Well, no, we're going to accept it. Um, I think that we might want to get some sort of bus circulator around here, though, because that's a hike. That, that said, you know, uh, when I was uh, in undergrad, <laughs> it was a hike to get to where I had to go, too. It uh, just happens that way. Maybe the way to, to remedy that is to actually focus on getting something, another campus building over here. I just really hate to lose all of these rock features. I don't think I have to. I think I just need to get more. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah, that, that was pretty brutal to look at. We can do that, but we need to flatten this first. Uh, that's a little better. We might need to do some more thinking about that, though. Um, so, uh, like I was saying, you know, sometimes with these kinds of campuses, buildings will be a hike from one another, and that's completely acceptable, understandable, and normal. So I'm just pulling this out, and now I'm going to use the slope tool to slope up to there, and then we'll connect our roads. We use our angle and our road guides and nothing else, just so that we can reestablish that connection. Might not be perfect, but the, I'll tell you what, the land around it looks a heck of a lot better. So there's respecting the topography, and then there's making the, re the, the topography respect you. And at this campus, we are telling the topography, listen, we've got some, uh, some agendas here. <laughs> and our agenda is using this little bit of land that we have as effectively as we can. And we're going to accomplish it. This is a high value tech school. I just I just wanna wanna put that out there too. <laughs> oh, and another one. <laughs> so we're right back to where we were. I probably should have uh placed this building before I got all crazy on the uh the sloping. Let's see if I can get away with just that. Oh and I can. That is great. I figure while we're over here, might as well touch everything up. And we might be able to get a little bit of residential zoning around here. Which uh, could, could, could work as campus housing. I don't know who else would want to live over here, I guess. If your dream is to live in the middle of a tech school. <laughs> you know, far be it for me to tell you that you can't. But this will, will also act as a way that we can get this power uh, to, to, to these buildings over here that are a little bit further removed from everything else. So I don't know how else we would accomplish this other than to do this. Let's get this sped up for a second to make sure this connection occurs. Oh yeah, I like that. This to me makes a ton of sense. Some higher density just mixed into the campus here. We just also need to make sure that we are continuing to, to fill in our landscaping. This is a, a very detailed part of the city. And you'd expect you'd expect that. It's a it's a campus. So not sure what we're gonna put over here just yet, but we we have the space for a couple more things now. So let's see how we're doing. So our attractiveness is there. At this point, what we need for the next level is our academic work. And we have a great chance of actually reaching that. So we've been burning through money. <laughs> and I think part of that is is some issues that we might be having with the city. So I kind of want to take a look for a moment, take a quick break. First of all, I promised that I was going to place a high school over here. And then I just, I built a, a street grid and then forgot about the high school. So why don't we get that high school built right now? And I wanted to build an Institute of Creative Arts. So we're going to put that on Mason. It's renaming itself Ward for some reason. We could fix that. And wow, that is ugly. <laughs> but that's what you get with these terrorist sort of, you know, that's, that's why I was reluctant to come up another level. Because it looks, you know, relatively flat, but it's not. That's 10 meters. So... 
that's significant and you end up with some kind of wonkiness. So I'm going to very purposefully zone this in a certain way to try to create that terrace. And hopefully I will be able to create a, a better step down for this. So I have a mix of uses around there. And actually, let's pause this for a second. We don't need to just mix the uses. We also need to look at our parks, maybe get a park or a swimming pool or something like that over here. Okay, so now I've added in this pool over here and we're gonna to need to do a lot with landscaping to get this to work. And then this basketball court over here, which is a little wonky, but I think it's gonna, it, 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 it's okay. What's not okay is not having water over here. So let's get water over in this entire area. All right, now we need to go through here and smooth some of this out. And the tip, the trick here is to always overshoot it and then take it back. And I did a very poor job of it that time. <laughs> so, round two in just a minute. All right, and sometimes with this stuff, you just gotta keep trying until you get it right. So this isn't even exactly how I'd like it to be. I, oh, but see, I go a little bit too far and I end up creating these dark areas. I love for this all to be completely light, but you know, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty close. So sometimes you just gotta accept what you can. It's, it's really a shame that that hedgerow is here because it would almost be an infinity pool. Either way, not bad for a high school, which this looks like it could be the high school from Saved by the Bell or something. <laughs> you know, you know, here we go. Bayside High. <laughs> All right, so I wanted, I do want to zone a bit more over here while we're waiting. And really, this is going to be a lot of low density residential. So the thought here is, you know, you might see some university staff or sorry, tech school staff. Uh, housing over in this area and uh, maybe not so much of you know anything else I, and then same thing over here on the beach side I would fully expect to see some privatized beach as much as I hate it uh, and we will emulate that as well in fact I would assume that that would be what is developed first now speaking of the beaches it would be nice to liven this beach up a bit. And I think that we could do that with some of our assets over here at a bare minimum. We really should have a skate park that unfortunately needs to be on a roadside. Same thing with our volleyball court. <laughs> this is why modding exists, you know, because that is frustrating. Just bluntly, that's frustrating. So what we're going to do is blast through some of this lovely landscaping that we created last time to get a road down to the beach so that we can have a skate park <laughs> and volleyball now this looks absolutely horrendous we're going to need to do a lot to make this look better so we are going to start out let's make a flat pad here in fact, we might need to take Harris Road, Harris Street, and create a flat pad for it. And I'm not really concerned about which side is volleyball and which side is skate park. Maybe a parks planner would have more opinions about that. I'm not a parks planner, so I, I, I do not have strong opinions. What I do have strong opinions about are making sure that these uses are here. So. We've got them here now. I think this is gonna be a valuable amenity and bring some life to this area. We also need to make our path connection here. There we go, give people a way to get back and forth. And then we need to make sure that we get our beach looking nice again. This is gonna be a tough, tough one. There's a little nub right here. The more I play with this, the worse it gets. And I think it's the perfect time to not let, not like good, but not, not, not let perfect be the enemy of good. Cause that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting a little bit too specific 
I could put a palm tree there to cover that up, and no one will be any the wiser. Well, except for you, me, and anyone else watching this video. And I'm not sure what the count is right now, but you know, let me know in the comments how many people have watched this and know this secret. <laughs> Maybe it does matter. <laughs> and then along this street to try to make it look a little less, ugh, we're gonna put some landscaping. Now, this resident over here, they're pretty upset. They invested in this property. They thought it was going to be this nice, well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we actually want to block the pool off from uh, the Barlow residents and their crates and barrels and garbage on the ocean. Well, thank you for uh, littering and <laughs> making this, really taking the neighborhood down. Interestingly, our zoning split and gave us this little lot right here. I'm actually, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's interesting. Little, little stucco house blocking the view. Maybe now we understand why these people aren't, uh, aren't keeping their house up. Now, what I don't understand is they have a sandbox right here next to the road. As a parent, I just... That makes me cringe hard. <laughs> anyway, I won't dwell on that. I, I will let them let them go. Uh, so we're in a we're in a spot now where I think we could take a look back at the school. How are we doing? We're still waiting. We're still waiting, but we're at level two. I think we're in a good spot with that school. Let's get rid of some of these cemeteries and think about the kinds of uses that we would want over here. This one empty, that one's empty. So, if you recall way back, we at, had all these cemeteries placed and left on for a very specific reason. Now, the ones I, I'm leaving full are over here in Solemn Palms Veterans Memorial. I feel like that makes sense. The other ones, it's the city's way too urban now. Or maybe it's not. Maybe we could leave it. Maybe I just hate the game mechanic where you get this flashing thing that just never goes away. If, if it didn't do that, I would probably... Whoa. Ooh. I don't know if you guys are catching the problem. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I moved it over here, and you can still see the outline of it, and it just... That, uh, that, that, that caught me off guard. That said... This helicopter stop is on. We're going to turn that off. We did some... I'm actually going to unlo uh, decommission that because it did some things to the beach. Much better. Um, so yeah, let's see. There's a couple more of these to get rid of. A little fire right here. <laughs> and I think that might be most of them. Well, there, some fire action right here. Everything... Everything, it's a normal day in Verde Beach. We're just fine. This one's also empty. So this opens up a lot of land for us. And we should, a couple places, you know, pretty simple fixes. We'll redevelop these by eliminating the existing buildings there. And then having these, and obviously this, this worked out okay because we had a cemetery or, or a crematorium right next to it. Death care, we're okay another cemetery right here let's look at our uses and i just want to extend the uses that were already in this area although we do have an opportunity we should take and that is the path connection not the most necessary connection but we have an opportunity might as well take it we didn't even need to use eminent domain for that we could have been just fine snaking that through here truthfully i see other opportunities in this neighborhood this would absolutely drive the neighbors mad. I imagine this being a situation where the city had the ability, had an easement back here, and decided to exercise that easement. And these neighbors were like, that was my backyard. You know, they had their fences built in here, and the city goes through and removes them. Would that really happen? Oh, man, probably not. <laughs> Reasonably, the city would try and realize that's a terrible losing battle. It's not worth it. And they give up. They give up. <laughs> All right. 
So we have a couple more of these areas right here. I think I am going to just eliminate this. We know that that's not going to work right here. And what I think we're going to do is continue to ex just look at our zoning. What, what do we need? We need commercial. I'll put some low density commercial right along this. And then offices on the other side. Not a huge need, but it'll be okay. I'm going to move this crematorium as well. Because, you know, we just get rid of the cemetery. We could certainly... Well... Mulligan. <laughs> I don't want to put that into the university. That's kind of weird. <laughs> you, know, you get out of, out of here and you get to, to see the crematorium. I guess that's something you could do at the end of a at the end of a game and over here we we have we almost have an opportunity to, to extend some density so that's what i'm going to do we will just increase that density and we will also make one more trail connection through here because we can right now and there's a distinct lack of landscaping back here so we might add a bit oh yeah that <laughs> yeah now we're good so we're adding a little bit of density in targeted areas and i like it the nice thing about this housing is you, you you're not going you're going to obstruct the views here you might actually want to if this were reality to preserve the views of the top stories uh, and think about where shadows would cast over here the lots big enough here that you're probably okay Truthfully, this lot, this is big enough that if we wanted this road or this to this path to become a road, it looks like we have the width. We could easily do that and then dramatically increase the density in this area. We're not going to do that. We don't need high density everywhere. Man, just fires all over the place today. Um, we can certainly be okay with a little bit less density in some areas. So the academic year, I'm going to speed this up because I it, we have 12 weeks until the end of the academic year. That's a little while. So over here, I believe, was one of the areas where we wanted to add a high school. You can see that the coverage is just abysmal over here. So we're going to absolutely add that. I'm going to try to make it as thin as possible so that we can add some support facilities here. We have an opportunity that's never going to come again. To have this much land in an old uh, part of town. Oh, <laughs> we can't fit in a pool, which is what I really wanted to do. Same thing with a gym and sports hall. Another That would be another thing that would be really nice over here. But instead, we'll get a basketball court. Old reliable. <laughs> and then two narrow single family homes. And some palm trees. We're over here, might as well give this area some life. So it's funny, I think that this level, or this level, this uh, this area was platted at this point. This is one of the first areas. I created this probably 40, 45 episodes ago. Probably episode one. Kind of wild to think about. And uh, I really thank so many of you who've been along the entire ride with me really appreciate that so you're seeing some work that I did so long ago now I'm going through and and giving it some more attention because I think it needed more needs more cities are never done changing and evolving and this is one thing that you know I know that I've uh, I've heard particularly in 5b1c uh, that that people will say well, I don't know why you're doing X Y and Z leave that part of the city alone it's done well, a city is never done. So I I like to come back through every now and then and revisit these areas because cities are never done. So why not improve the city? So interestingly, this path was never connected and it's not gonna be fun to connect. <laughs> Okay, I was being dramatic, it was fun. <laughs> so I'm just going through, and so I'm using these these trails right here, the, the park paths, mainly because they're self-leveling. I also think that they look a little bit more like alleys, which was initially what I was going for, the alley type look. 
Um, the, the, uh, you know, I've, I've stated this on a number of occasions. The main reason I wanted to have these paths behind anyway was to increase the, de the pedestrian network density and make that a more attractive method of getting around. And in general, I think it's worked. I think that it's really improved uh, the pedestrian utilization in the entire city. Now, I hate that as I'm upgrading these, I'm demolishing buildings, um, but for the, better the, uh, for the betterment of the city. <laughs> it's for the, for the good of the people. Maybe not here. <laughs> Maybe we can be okay with some non-self-leveling trails. And sometimes the reason why you don't play with things is you can't remember what you did. This is actually a bike path. So I'm going through and destroying a lovely bike path. And uh, that was not at all my intention. So uh, I, I know that there are some folks that would love to see a connection from Main Street back here. Thinking about that. Let me know in the comments what you think about a Main Street connection. We have middle back here, but we do have the land it would be tricky but we could try to make main street have a connection back here and really extend this through the entire community right now we have semper verde and uh myrtle kind of performing that movement for us but we could certainly try to make main street which is the only road now that really is going to cross this this part and into this part of the community we could have that go all the way over we are almost there, just a little bit more. So I think what I'm gonna do is let this run for just a minute and see if we get to our next level. All right, we got our academic works. Let's get going right away. Again, actually, maybe this time I'll go with that. No, no, we're going to hospitality. We have to. <laughs> That's what we do. So this souvenir shop, we're gonna make all this stuff historical. I like it. It, it kind of feels at this point like Tyrell Hotels is the sponsor of this particular university, but it's not. Now, look at all of this activity now. So this, now that this is a real destination, because we have this uh, leisure district over here, which has a real ugly dip. Let's just pretend we didn't see that. <laughs> and maybe clean it up a bit over here. Now that we have all of this activity here, we're seeing some significant passenger uh, uptick here. I'm wondering, uh, when we look at our transit, where are we at? Are we... We crossed the 7,000 resident threshold. I'm stoked about that. We've almost got to 10,000 total per week. I want to keep focusing on that because this is something I'm really excited about. I want to keep cranking up our transit utilization. That's the best way to keep our traffic flow at 87%. <laughs> so I'll let you guys in on a secret. This is probably the best traffic flow that I've had in a vanilla city. Um, and I think a big part of that is that I've really given every bit of this build a lot of thought. I've responded to your guys' feedback. And normally I'll keep it above 80, but this has been you know, really outstanding. Uh, the transit has helped a ton. Now, I know that one of the things that, that folks have mentioned is a desire to have this rail come, or this, uh, this subway line come up above ground. I'm gonna try to figure that out. Um, Cause I do agree that would be a good fix, would be to have it paralleling here, go up, maybe have an above ground station. And we're gonna try for that. It's just not a now, to now thing. It might be a next episode thing. Um, but still, the, the, the traffic flow that we're getting is amazing. The, the ridership that we're getting is amazing. Let's take a look at the uh, buildings that, we can un that we've unlocked. Because I want to work some of those in. We didn't put in our trade school fountain before. Um, and we've now unlocked... We've got a library, IT club, and the school commencement office, as well as the academic statue one and our school of tourism and travel which is really huge <laughs> it's it's very big uh but that is what we're really interested in at this university at this uh, at the school anyway so we're gonna need to enlarge in our enlarge in enlarge in 
increase the size of our campus. And, you know, we had this little, almost an isthmus looking thing going on here. Um, we are going to continue to expand outside of this. I think we're going to have to. So we have, ooh, we're probably going to need to take some land here and fill in. And that's going to be the way that we are facilitating the growth of the campus. So we're going to do a little bit right now. So everything that I just did was instant regret. It really didn't work well. So I decided to take it back a notch because I think that ultimately, if we're gonna do anything, we probably should take a little bit of land from here, maybe make this some sort of lookout point. And really kind of leave our little terraced area up here alone because we're going to just break it. So the trade school is going to be a real, or the, the uh, tourism school is going to be a real challenge to place. So it it's going to be a, a very large building and we need to think about the way it looks from over here. I don't know that we're going to want to see it right there. Right now it's a really nice, you know, we get a nice view corridor where things taper down a bit. And... I think we want to maintain that. And if we have this big haunted building, look at that, that's 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 horrible. So that's that's not gonna be something that we're okay with. Now we might wanna look at our smaller buildings. You know, could the library fit over here? Maybe. How about the IT club? Probably. The commencement office? That might actually be great right here. But, I do think that that school of tourism is 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 a real challenge. So I've added these here, just you know, kind of demonstrating how this would look, and you see that it's just it's a better taper. And then we could take a look at that that tourism school, and it just kind of blocks everything. So we're gonna to want to think about where this goes. And this might be something, maybe we create a strong corner here and it's a bit removed from the college campus, but still fits in. So we're still going to focus this towards the college campus. And I think that we're going to move it over a bit so that we can taper the edges because we've got some really harsh edges here and not a lot of soil to work with. And even though this is as far from natural as could be, I want to try to make it look at least a little bit natural by having a gentle, a gentle taper here. Ah, oh, out of soil again, and I'm really nervous to do anything here. I might. So anytime you take soil out of a river, you risk flooding all the areas around it. <laughs> so this probably wasn't smart, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to give it a shot because I really think that that soil would come from as, as close to the project as possible. And I'm not, I'm not just think I know that it would, you wouldn't ever want, I mean, the transportation costs associated with that would be just astronomical. You take, you're talking number, like how many pickup trucks would it take? or dump trucks worth of soil would it take. Pickup trucks, it would take you forever. <laughs> so if you're going to move large amounts of soil, I would highly recommend a dump truck. So this is one of those areas where we're not going to get it to be perfect, perfect, but we're getting it pretty darn good. And we're going to let it go. Uh, we're going to take my daughter's advice from all of the Frozen that she's forced me to listen to. <laughs> and let it go. So I think we'll, we'll have a prominent tree on the corner there. And then I, I want to try to hide some of this lumpy, bumpy craziness. Again, with some landscaping. We could certainly throw in some rock features if that's what we were into. Or oh, not like that. <laughs> Those are so big that that's insane. This is why I don't like, I, you know, I've had people say, well, why don't you use rocks more? It's because I'm just, I look at these and I immediately am drawn to the big ones and they're so obscenely big 
that I can't I can't reasonably justify placing them anywhere. So that's 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 more of a me thing. If you if you got some tips on good ways to incorporate the rocks, please let me know them because I would love to get better. So now this is in a bit of a better place. We do have these, whoa, whoa, whoa. I disconnected the power and forgot to reconnect it and I put landscaping there instead. <laughs> so we're gonna keep our landscaping because Verde Beach. However, I do need to get that reconnected. And then we've got these other buildings over here and I think I am gonna pull them closer. And that will do two things for us. It'll make landscaping a ton easier, or terraforming easier which I think that clearly in a campus area like this, they would be cognizant of any savings that they could get, you know, by co-locating buildings and being able to degrade two projects at once. It might actually be one project that when they're working on it. So um, I, I think it's totally reasonable to pull these as close as you can. It also gives us the opportunity to pull soil over if we need to. And we could take that from right over here if we had to. I don't see any flooding from our nonsense over underneath, in, uh, dredging out the river. So I think we're okay there. And then we have this monstrosity that we created. We're gonna fix that. And of course I have no good place to dump this temporarily. Oh, I can put it anywhere I want. Oh, great. So I wanna place that. Oh, that's, that's actually kind of neat have it on the edge like that well I'm gonna create a flat location over here for it I do kind of like this though I like the idea of coming on the cliff and being able to see the campus behind you yeah we're gonna do something with that that's an interesting idea we are again in out of soil land so, new idea, well, maybe not a great idea, and I, I might take, take some flack for this, but I might just eliminate this island. And now I have a whole bunch of soil. So thank you, island. I've needed to get on the up and up with soil for a while now, and now I have. So, <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a much happier place mentally. <laughs> Yeah, because this is something I just, I want to just, sometimes you get into a place where you just really get an idea for a project in your head and you just can't finish it because of a game limitation. And I'm going to go rogue here. This is me going rogue. So truthfully, I could probably leave this like this. If you look, it the coast is, is almost identically mirroring what was happening naturally in this area. So I think I'm gonna be okay with that. And we will make our connection over here. There we go. So now we've incorporated this in here as well. And that to me, that seems like a fairly natural place that all to be. So we've really worked in a lot of our buildings over here. I'm wondering what we need to get ahead to the next level. We are not a pretty enough campus. We don't have enough students and we don't have enough a a <laughs> academic works. So we're probably going to be in a spot where after we do a bit of landscaping, we call it a day on this. There's no need for this to be level five. That's an arbitrary game thing where they say, wouldn't you like to be level five? Wouldn't you like to have a perfect? And, and actually, now that I think about it, we do need level five because I want to unlock the buildings. So shoot. <laughs> we are going to get it to level five, but you don't have to. That's a, that's a me thing, not a you thing. Now I am going to eliminate a couple palm trees here for views. And then around here, we are going to again, have our grasses that try to cover up some of this lumpy, bumpy craziness.
Oh, I like that. I like this a lot. So if you were coming here, you were graduating. Here you are. You uh, see the commencement speaker. You look at the balloon. You look over at your future home. On fire. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, uh, this is where we're going to leave it. <laughs> Uh, second episode in a row that I've ended with a fire. Uh, it is, it is, uh, it's been a fun time. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you like this episode, please consider hitting the like button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so and hit that notification bell if you want to know when I release new videos. I also want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. You can see their names right here. They help me to increase the quality of my content, which I am constantly striving to do and i hope that i hope that you can tell um i'm gonna leave you with a brief city tour like i always do and i'm going to start that right now